If you guys saw my last video, you guys know that I recently picked up a new camera and that camera is the Sony FX30. It is Sony's newest crop sensor camera. It is a video centered camera, but it does have the ability to take photos. And as a photographer, I wanted to test out the capabilities of this camera and see how good at taking photos it actually is. So in today's video, that's what I'm gonna be talking about. I'm gonna be talking about this camera's photo capabilities. So you guys wanna see that, make sure you stick around for the entire thing and see some photo examples from this camera, some pros and some cons to picking this up as your next. I would say hybrid camera, even though it's not marketed as a hybrid camera. Let's talk about the photos of the camera. So let's talk about the things I like about it when it comes to photography and the things that I don't like about it when it comes to photography. So first thing I like about it when it comes to photography is that it has a 26 megapixel sensor, which means you're gonna get some really crisp photos, you're gonna get some higher, um, some higher resolution photos that you can still crop in and still get, you know, a lot of detail resolved. Um, it's gonna be really sharp, depending on the lens you get and stuff. And at the end of the day, it's just, it's a really good sensor. It's Fairly good in low light um, for a crop sensor. It's it's really, really good when it comes to dynamic range because it is a Sony. And it has like close to 14 stops of dynamic range, which is on par with my a7 III. It shoots raw, which is nice. Uh, it means you're going to get a lot of latitude when you're editing. It does shoot JPEG if you want to, but I personally have never shot JPEG in my life, so that's not something that I really care about. But if you do want to shoot JPEG, then just send them over to your phone with like the transfer app. Um, you can do that as well. Or you can do JPEG and RAW. Doesn't matter. Um, it has a, the swivel screen, which is really nice for like portrait shooters because with my A6400, it only did the swivel upwards, which when you're like shooting low angles and stuff, kind of made it hard to actually see the screen because you can't swivel it the way that you want it to. It does have the side swivel, which if you're in portrait mode, makes it a down swivel. Um, and that makes a really big difference for me because I am a low angle shooter. The camera has eye tracking autofocus, has really good autofocus because it is a Sony and it also has a touch screen so you can touch and focus that way. Um, and yeah, it basically, it can do a lot of really good photo stuff. And because this is a video camera, it does have a bunch of dials, which is nice because you can now finally program one dial for your ISO, one dial for your aperture and one dial for your shutter speed. Whereas my A6400, you only really had two dials to play around with and you would have to start clicking buttons. With this, you have plenty of dials to just dial it in, which is really, really nice. One thing I really like about the FX30 is that you can have an option to have your photo and video modes have like completely different setups. So what I mean by that is like, if I'm shooting S-Log in video and I switch to photo mode, in my other cameras, it still has S-Log loaded up even even though you're in photo mode. On this camera, you can set it up so that if you're like on S-Log and doing stuff with S-Log and video, you can switch to photo mode and have it just not be an S-Log. You have a completely different configuration set up. So you can have a different uh, color profile. You can have like your, no your normal color profile. You can do, you know, you can have a different set of buttons and stuff for your photography and your videography, which is really, really, really nice. Um, and I don't know if I can do that with my other Sony cameras just because the menus are so confusing, but this camera I can, which is really nice because I like to be able to switch from video to photo uh, really quickly, but I also like to make sure that when I am in photo mode, I'm not in the S-Log color profile and I'm not, you know, have all these other video things loaded up like uh, markers and stuff like that. Um, and there's a setting on here where you can switch it so that they're both independent. So you can have your photo stuff set up and you can have your video stuff set up. And when you make the switch, it kind of just switches it. Now let's talk about some things I don't like about the FX30 when it comes to photography. And one of the biggest things that I personally don't mind too much, but I know people are going to mind, it doesn't have burst mode shooting. So this camera does, cannot shoot burst mode when it is in the photo mode which doesn't make sense to me. I don't know how you wouldn't be able to just, you know, program that in because it is an electric uh, shutter. So I feel like that shouldn't be too hard. I feel like a software update could maybe fix that. I don't know, um, but it cannot do burst, which if you're like a sports photographer is probably gonna be like a really big letdown, but I'm not, so that does not phase me that much. Um, but something that does phase me as this does not have like any joysticks at all on the back side of the camera. It does have a joystick on the top, but that's a little cumbersome to use. Um, my a7 III, which is my main photo camera, has a little joystick in the back, which I can use to change the focus box when I'm shooting, which makes it a lot easier. You know, I can just keep my hand on the camera the entire time. I don't have to be touching the screen and stuff. This doesn't have that, the FX30 doesn't have that, which means that you're either gonna have to rely on the autofocus or you're gonna be touching the screen and stuff, both of which are gonna slow you down. And at the end of the day, is I wish they could have just put that in the back. Um, I can understand why they did it because for like 
the video side of things, it really doesn't help that much. So I can understand why they didn't put it there, but it would have been nice to have a joystick on this. But yeah, other than those two things, I don't really think there's any other features that the FX30 is missing, at least for me. It does everything that my A6400 does, and it just does it better in terms of like video quality and photo quality. Um, and it is missing a couple of features, but at the end of the day, they're not features that I'm like overly, you know, sad it's missing. Um, and yeah, is this camera good at photos? I think so. You guys saw throughout this video, the photos that I can take. And I'm gonna keep on doing some more photo shoots with it so you guys can kind of see more examples. I know that I didn't really give too many examples in this video, but this is a really good camera when it comes to photo and video. Now, it's not the best at photo, but it, 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 can, it can get it done. And as a camera that I'm gonna bring everywhere, that's something I was looking for because I can, I can rest assured I'm gonna be able to take some really good photos and videos everywhere I go if, as long as I bring this camera with me, which I do, I bring it everywhere because it's so small and portable. But yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there. Is this a good photo camera? It's good enough. It is good enough. Was, it is a good enough photo camera. That is that is my consensus about this camera. It is definitely still a video-centric camera, but it can, it can hold its weight when it comes to photos, as you guys saw in today's video. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like. Drop a comment if you guys have any questions about the FX30. I'm going to be doing some more content with this camera just because I just got it. It's hot right now good camera and I want to you know use it a lot more to kind of see if I end up finding other things I like and don't like about it but so far it has been mostly positive reviews on my end from this camera if you guys don't already follow me on social media make sure you follow me all my socials are linked in the description below um and that with that being said thank you guys for watching I will see you in the next one see ya